Decision 2024 coverage. Tonight was the first debate between U.S. Senate nominees Republican Mike Rogers and Democrat Alyssa Slotkin. TV6 senior reporter Jerry Tudor highlights the key moments from tonight's debate as both candidates vie for your vote this November. Tonight, the two nominees for Michigan's open U.S. Senate seat met in Grand Rapids for their first debate. Both nominees are running for a Senate seat currently filled by Debbie Stabenow, who is retiring at her term's end. The nominees faced questions on Medicare, Social Security, abortion, and border security. During each nominee's opening statement, the candidates explained why they're running. I'm running for the U.S. Senate because I believe we must enhance and strengthen the middle class. Michigan invented the middle class. That means jobs with, dig with dignity, and it means bringing down the costs that are eating a hole in people's pocketbooks. It's because people, our families, are hurting in Michigan. They can't afford gas. They can't afford their electric bill. We have folks that are going to food pantries at the end of the month. We don't have to do it that way. On the issue of housing, Slotkin talked about public-private partnerships, while Rogers says interest rates are too high. Right now, we're helping to build an apartment building in Okemos. It's a public-private partnership, right? It's some public money, but it's a lot of private builder money, and they'll put aside a certain number of units that are for affordable housing. Up north, we're working on workforce housing. The number one reason people can't afford homes, including in my own family, uh, is the interest rates. So people who want to go move up in a house can't do it because they're at a 3%. And by the way, they're not going out to pay 7 or 8% on a house. Same with new home buyers. Early voting in Michigan is underway. Jerry Tudor, TV6 News.